Hi, uh, we're going to work on Module 6, Project 1. Uh, this is in Word. It's Escalante State College. I've already opened the file. And uh, I have also opened the instructions and set them side by side. So it says open the file, which we've done. Then save the file as WD196A, uh, last name, first name, to document X. So we'll do that now because mine is right now at 1. So I'll do file, I'll do save as. And I'm going to put it in my downloads folder to make it easy for me. And I'm going to change that one to a two and then click on save. Okay, and it says if you don't see the extension save as, don't do it. Uh, we don't have to type the dot, dot, docx. With the still open, ensure your first and last names displayed in the footer. I'm looking footer. Yeah, it's got my name in it. Good. And then project steps. As an administrative assistant in the Dean of Students Office at Escalante State College, you're preparing a form letter to send to enrolled students, welcoming them, them, welcoming them to the college. To use a standard format for letters, change the page orientation to portrait. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to design. I'm sorry, layout. We're going to go orientation and we're going to change it to portrait. Uh, so now the paper is turned the right direction. Convert the five paragraphs in the middle letter section, beginning college advisor and ending in uh, Allison Hamal. So this this right here, college advisors, Allison Hamal. We're going to convert this to a uh, table. So we're going to go to insert table, convert text to table. And now it tells us use tabs to separate the columns. So our tabs is selected. Use a fixed column width. We have a fixed column width. And it says apply the table to accent to table style. So we'll do that after we click OK. So we'll click OK. Then we're going to go up here to our table styles. And it says grid table to accent to. OK. Grid table to accent to. Click on it. So now I've done that. It matches the other color schemes of the thing. Now it says to set up the document as a form letter, start the step by step mail merge. So I'm going to go to mailings and start mail merge. And it says to use a step by step. So we're going to do it. And it says uh, accept letters as a document type, then choose the current document as a starting document. So I'm going to click next down here, use this current document. So I'm going to click next. And then now the list is where we're going to be at. So uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. create a new recipient list. So we're going to use a new recipient list. Click create. And it says customize it by deleting the company name. So customize columns. I'm going to delete company name, uh, country or region. And work phone. And then uh, email address field. So email address field, delete. Rename the zip code field using the word postal code. So I'm going to click on zip code, rename. Now change it to postal code. And add a new field called session. So OK. And then we're going to add a new field at the bottom. And we're going to call it session. And then click OK. All right. Enter the address information for the two recipients as shown. So we'll click OK. And now I've got my data table. So now I'm going to put in the information here. And my computer doesn't want to do anything because I have this. So let me type it in. So Ms. Fab and Fab Hayes 702 Carly Street. Next line is apartment 310. Next line is the city, Chicago, Illinois. 60290. And I'm going to do a new entry. Wait, I'm not finished. 
need to put the home phone number. 773-555-1028. Now, this has parentheses around it, so I'm going to do it the same way they have it in the text. And I'm going to click OK because I can't see the rest of it. Actually, I'm going to type in the rest of this, and then I'll scroll down and see if there's any other fields because it looks like there's a session field, but I can't see it. The reason I can't see it is because I have this dialog box open. So let's do new entry, and let's do Mr., and then Ben, and Tang, one four three five River Road. There's no second line, Windsor, Windsor, and then this is in Ontario, and the postal code is n 8 n and then the parentheses 519 close parentheses dash 555 6781 and i'm going to click ok All right that allows me to come over here hopefully and scroll i have a Okay, it's not going to let me do that. I need to save my data source, but I don't want to save it yet. But I don't know what it's called. So I'm just going to call it um, sc underscore wd underscore 19 a 19 underscore 6 a. And then I'll click on save. I'm going to click on OK for right now. Now this will let me scroll down. Now I have the session, July and August. So I'm going to go edit recipient list. And I'm going to click on this and click edit. And then we're going to go down here to the sessions that we weren't able to put in a while ago. And this one is July, ends is July. And Mr. Ben is, Mr. Tang is August. Okay, and then we click OK. Yes, we want to update the changes and then click OK. All right, so now we have those in there. So now number five says continue to step four in the mail merge wizard. So we're going to click on next to step four and use the date content control with click here to select a date to select June 11th. 2021. So we're going to click here and we're going to go to June 11th, 2021. Insert the inside address as follows. Select the placeholder inside address. And then insert it address merge field. So we're going to go to address uh, insert inside address, more items. Uh, hold on, cancel. Address block. Mr. Joshua Randall Jr. is what we want. Click OK. And then we're going to delete the placeholder that says insert inside address. And then yeah. And the delete the placeholder. And so number seven says insert the greeting line as follows. So I'm gonna click on the insert greeting line. Click on greeting line here. And it's wanting to use the Dear Joshua format. So the first name, just the first name right here, Dear Joshua, with a comma, no, with a colon. So Dear Joshua colon, okay. And then delete the placeholder text. And so we're gonna delete so the insert greeting line placeholder text. I'll delete the, the paragraph for it. 
And in the last paragraph in the body of the letter, select the session placeholder and insert the session merge field. So we're going to go down here to the session placeholder right here. I'm just going to select it, and it should delete it as I do it. And then we're going to go more items, and then we're going to click on the session placeholder and click insert. Okay. And close. Continue to step five of the mail merge wizard. Then edit the recipient list to filter the data records to select only recipients where the session field is equal to July. So we are going to edit the recipient list. And we're going to scroll all the way over here to the session. And we're going to do the, the session. And we're only going to choose the July sessions. And click OK. Now it says complete the mail merge as instructed below. You will merge to a new document and then copy the contents of the merge file to the end of our original document so that your entire assignment appears in the same file. So it says continue to step six of the mail merge wizard. So click on that. Then it tells us to merge all records to a new document. Merge to a new document, all. And this is our new document, Anne Hayes. Control A to select all the contents. Control A to select all the contents. And it says to copy the selected text to the clipboard. So we're going to use the copy button here. Then we're going to go to our other document, which is our original document, this one. And we're going to go to the end of it. And we're going to paste it in here. So home, paste and it pasted it in. Okay. Now that it's pasted in, we close, well, I don't need to close the mail merge wizard yet. Yeah, see here. Paste the merge form letter into the main document. Verify that the pasted merge form letter appears only on page two. This is page one of three. This is page two of three. And this is page three, which is blank. And it says verify, do, 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 delete the page break and the next page section at the bottom of page two to make sure the document is only two pages long. So right here, we're going to delete the page break. And we'll delete the section break. And we're going to delete the, and I use the delete key to do that, to delete everything to the right. Okay. Turn off the preview of the mail merge results. Close the new merge document without saving it. This one here. Close it without saving it. Don't save. Close the new merge document without saving it. Let's see here. Save the original form letter document. So this is our original form letter document. I'll we'll click the save button and it says saving. Your document should look like the final figure on the following pages. So here's page one. Here's our page one. This is our first page. This is our second page. If you look at this first page, it only shows the address block and greeting line. And ours shows an address. So what we need to do is go to mailings here and turn off the preview. And then that shows the correct way down here. It shows it correctly. So let's go back up and read the rest of the directions. Let's see here. We turned off the preview of the mail merge, which we just did. Uh, close the new merge document without saving it. And we've already saved this original one. So let's make sure I save it. And we're good. Okay. So this should uh, be all you need. Let's see if I can upload it real quick. I don't have it set up to upload. Oh, here it is.